Knicks, Pacers, round two. I want to get to this. Game mm -hmm. one. Game one, very interesting down the stretch. And Tarika, where have we seen this before? So um, mm -hmm. the Pacers have the ball and they're looking to make a move. And here comes Miles Turner and he sets a screen. He thinks it's a good screen. Uh, offensive foul, illegal screen. We're going the other way. Mm -hmm. And the NBA says, NBA says that was a correct call, by the way. Yep. And this is uh -huh. very, it's giving, it's giving Iowa UConn. <laughs> yeah. Is it not? <laughs> what, did you think it was the right call? I, I think it was the, I think it was an appropriate, let me rephrase that. I think it was the right call. I do think that he was moving. I do believe it was an illegal screen. The same way that Aaliyah Edwards was a moving screen. So it it's was. not necessarily whether the call was right or wrong. It's the appropriateness of making that call in that moment. I think that's where I struggle. I want the game to be called right and I want the game to be called fair, but I also want the game to be decided by the players. And it's tough to say that the game is decided by the players when those very minor ticky tack kind of well, yeah. it's 15 seconds but left on the clock. The I game mean, was decided the man, by the players. You can't do that. I mean, I mean it's just like, it's, damn, you can't do that. It, I just I hate I hate that the that the stripes get in the way at times. But I also agree that you have to put yourself in the position as a team to not let it come down to the very final seconds of a game in which the stripes need to make a decision that can impact the game. So Miles Turner took accountability. He's like, hey, you know what? I got to be better. We shouldn't have been in a position where it mattered. And I agree with that. But I hate when I hate those calls in those moments. Like, let them let them play, man. Just let them play. Yeah, let them play and I, I, you know, so in this fight, because I, you know, I go round two heavyweight fight. I'm expecting a seven game series. I'll be disappointed if it's not seven games. I love seven game series. Uh, <laughs> you know, great players evenly matched. But in this seven game series, I need the uh, I need the challenger because I'm, I'm going to make because they're the higher seed. I'm going to make the Knicks the contender in this case, the, the, uh, the, the champ. I'm going to make them the champ. So uh, let's say Jalen Brunson is the champ. I'm going to need his counterpart, the guy who's trying to win the belt, to throw some more punches. Tyrese Halliburton, what's up, man? Six points. He has six points in game one. Now, this is an all-star player, uh, uh, the, the best player on the Indiana Pacers. Ooh, yep. uh, it, it, if this is going to be a seven game series and he really hasn't played, he hasn't been playing great basketball. If you look at his numbers, post all star, mm -hmm. post all star break. Well, I mean, good. The team's the team is good. I uh, handled business against the Milwaukee Bucks, but I want to see more from him Tarika, to get us to a seven game series. Yeah, I would agree with you there, but I also say that I think this speaks to the volume of play around his supporting cast in Indiana, um, in Indiana, that he hasn't necessarily played his best basketball, and yet this this team has been able to knock out a depleted and and, and really needed to get their life together Milwaukee Bucks team, and now. Um, really put up a fight up until the very last final seconds against the Knicks, who, have, who were playing well and played well coming into this game. Jalen Brunson is a whole different conversation. Say what you will about him, the boy can ball. Five 40-point oh, yes. performances. Like, there's nothing... There's like he's doing what stars are supposed to do, and as and if and if this team, because we're gonna talk about this in a second, but if this team had a healthy Julius Randle, this is a completely different conversation. But um, I say that again to say that I think that the Pacers are in a good place because if you can get that kind of performance out of your team without. Tyrese Halliburton really going off, then you're in a good position, but he's got to show up. He just got to show up. You like it in I feel Yeah, I actually like the Pacers in this series, so believe it or not. I like okay. the Pacers in the series, but I agree with you that they are going seven games and, and not necessarily because I don't think that the Knicks um, are a good team. Um, and, and, and I really just feel that Jalen Brunson um, won't be able to do it all the entire series. Josh Hart did you is going to have to get them some. Did I just hear you say you don't think the Knicks are a good team? Did I hear you say that? 
No, 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 no. I say it's not that I don't think that they are okay, a good okay, team. I, I, think, okay. I absolutely right. think the Knicks are a good team. Okay. I just also right. think that he's going to have to continually get help from Look someone else. And I know, yeah, well, I know, but I'm saying I think that he's going to need assistance from someone else every single game. And I don't know who that is from game to game because the other players that are assisting him are inconsistent. Sometimes it's Josh Hart, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's Hartenstein, sometimes it's not. I don't know who it's going to be. I know what I'm getting out of that man. I know that man going to give me 40. I know that. We ain't worried about him. We ain't worried about him. But you we can see him tonight? even in the matchup. Even in the matchup against the Sixers, did you not see some times where there were breakdowns, not only defensively, but just who was going to be the support for Jalen Brunson? You saw that against the Sixers, and they were and they were unhealthy. We can't afford to now, see that against the Pacers. Uh, Tariq, I'm not going to do anything with this information. I'm just asking for a friend. You think uh, Jalen Brunson is going to get 40? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wow. asking. Yeah, I do. I think Jalen Brunson going to oh, really? get 40 again. Yeah. You do yeah. my my yeah. bets. My, my <laughs> bets. Okay. All right. Thank you. Again, that's what he do. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just made a little bit of money. Do the show. Make a little make a little extra money. Make thank you coin. very much. Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.